Hey yo, what is up guys, Akarsh here, back with another video and uh, this Christmas I was thinking of investing in a good single board computer and I was planning to get a Raspberry Pi 4 but I didn't, instead I took a look at the Nvidia Jetson Nano Developer Kit and, uh, and I knew by looking at it that I wanted this. This is a $99 uh, single board computer from NVIDIA. It is a very powerful uh, single board computer. It has the capability of running multiple AI and machine learning techniques. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at this Jetson Nano Developer Kit. We'll be uh, taking a look at what's included with this board and how can we get started and what are its capabilities. So stay tuned. I recently came across PCBGoGo.com. They are one of the most experienced PCB manufacturers from China. They offer 10 PCBs for $5 only with several shipping partners. They even offer 24 or 48 hour express service. Apart from getting your PCBs manufactured, you can even get PCB assembly, layout and stencil manufacturing as well. Do check them out. All the relevant links will be in the description box below. So, I got my Jetson Nano from dfrobot.com. You can get yours from there as well. I'll be mentioning their link in the video description below. And because it was Christmas time, they sent me a gift. And uh, there were some parts inside this sock as well, uh, which we'll talk in a later video. They also sent a small token of love and appreciation which I'll share with you guys. So using this coupon code you can get $10 off on uh, any order of $50 and above. Anybody who claims this leave a comment down below and spread some love. Moving on we have the Jetson Nano board inside over here. This comes in a clean packaging. There are two seals over here and over here. I've already opened the box once so all those are already off and uh, there's the board which comes in a ESD packing which I've removed it comes with a user guide and it comes with a cardboard foldable stand so they recommend to keep the stand over here and keep your board like this and use it like this taking a closer look at the IO of this board starting from the left we have a DC barrel jack adapter for uh, powering this board you can also power this board using this micro usb connector if you're powering the board using the micro usb connector you can power it directly otherwise you need to hook this jumper up with a short circuit and then you can power it up using the barrel jack this is a 9 volt barrel jack and the board accepts a minimum of 5 volt 2 amps for its operation then you have an ethernet port then you have four usb 3.0 ports which are a good addition over here then you have an hdmi and a display port there are no other ports as such then you have a micro sd card slot over here below this heat sink and below this connector card you get a pcie express uh, slot wherein you can add wireless connectivity cards or ssd if you like you also have a CSI port wherein you can connect the standard Raspberry Pi camera that you are familiar with using this ribbon cable. There's a 40 pin GPIO header here as well which is Raspberry Pi compatible. So if you have any Raspberry Pi projects you can directly switch it from your Raspberry Pi to your Jetson Nano. As you can see the, those are the similar pin outs. You have some other headers as well which are uh, for uh, connecting switches, other USB ports, a, a connector for your fan if you need one on the heat sink. And uh, that is pretty much it for this board. You need to add a micro SD card over here uh, for this board to boot up. Comparing the Pi to the Jetson Nano isn't fair enough because they are intended for different purposes. The Jetson Nano is solely uh, made for uh, more AI and ML hungry applications whereas the Raspberry Pi is for more IoT purpose works wherein you need to control some things uh, with better CPU power. Here you have a better GPU power and so things like image recognition, 
uh, and self driving robots with automation is better possible with this the jetson nano has one drawback that it does lack wi-fi and bluetooth connectivity you can obviously add one using a usb card or you can also add one beneath the heat sink at the pcie slot but the raspberry pi always has that so that is a plus point in the pi but yeah for my purpose i'll be using an ethernet cable for today's demo purpose i'll put all the relevant links in the description below for you to study more about the jetson nano before you would want to buy this board now coming on to the setup for this board you will need some other things like hdmi display a micro sd card of minimum 16 gb i have a 64 gb version over here and a keyboard mouse combo which i'll be using this this is also from df robot as well as the hdmi screen i'll be putting the links for these parts in the description below as well apart from this you will be needing a 5 volt 2 amp usb supply which i have over here and i also have broken out my ethernet cable so uh, before plugging this uh, entire setup you will have to prepare your sd card and then you can insert the SD card here. So first let's prepare the SD card for the setup. So for getting started with the developer kit, I am referring to this page from NVIDIA, which gives a basic introduction. Then uh, after that, it tells us what do we need for getting started. And the third page, you will see that we need to write the image to the micro SD card that we have. So firstly, you need to go ahead and download the image from this link over here. It will start a download of around 5 GBs. Then you also have instructions for the particular operating systems that you're on for flashing the SD card. I'm on Windows, so I'll click on the instruction for Windows. It does give some detailed instruction, but I already have a formatted SD card. I'll just wait the, for this file to download and extract this file. So I've downloaded and extracted the image file and here it is. For burning this image onto the SD card, we need a software like Etcher or Win32 Disk Imager. You firstly need to locate the file which you have over here. Once uh, the file is selected, you need to select the correct device that is your SD card and hit the right button. Once the write is successful, you will see many windows opening because this creates 15 partitions on your SD card. So your laptop or PC might go crazy for some time. You simply can just remove the SD card and the SD card will be ready and ignore the messages by the Windows Explorer. Once your SD card is ready, uh, you can just plug it in over here like this, wherein the pins are facing uh, upwards and then you can feel the satisfying click over there after the SD card you can plug in the Ethernet cable which is necessary for the first boot I'll plug in my uh, keyboard and mouse adapter over here as well along with the HDMI port I'll be using this display so that you will be able to watch what I'm seeing there you go I'll move this board aside and uh, the last thing that we need to do is to add power both to the display and to the Jetson Nano. So I'll just rearrange this very quickly. So now I have everything set up. Uh, the display is connected to the Jetson Nano using the HDMI cable over here in the red. The Jetson is connected to the internet using the Ethernet cable and to the uh, Bluetooth uh, keyboard and mouse combo using this adapter. I've connected power to this display as well now i just need to connect power to the jetson nano and there you go soon as i connect that i see a green led glow up over here and there should be something on the display soon as well and we see some patterns going on let's fast forward so now we need to set up which is pretty obvious so i'll just do that quickly After you set up the thing, it'll ask for some system configurations and as you see it boots up in a, a generic Ubuntu configuration with the background. So once all the settings are done, it gets restarted and you see the big NVIDIA logo. 
and I guess we'll boot into the newly set up uh, system for us personalized and there you go we see the Nvidia logo but it's covered with the new in Ubuntu thing so we'll just quickly hit the next button and yes that is the uh, desktop you can see that we are greeted with some Libre software apps and Chromium web browser developer zone Jetson support forums etc etc this is the classic uh, Ubuntu system so first let's go to the terminal and update and upgrade this existing piece of software so I'll start with the command sudo apt get update I'll mention all the uh, commands that I'm using in my instructables whose link you'll find in the video description below I'll fast forward this uh, update and upgrade screens till then once the update is done you can upgrade the uh, software so for that you need to type sudo apt get upgrade so now once the upgrade is done we are all set to run some demo codes which the uh, system already has so we'll be looking at demo called vision works which can show the power of this Jetson Nano on the side of the frame firstly we need to navigate to a path that is user share vision works and then sources in this sources file you will see some uh, files that are present and we need to install this vision works so we'll be running this shell script which comes by dot slash install and then we need to put it onto the root location and we'll copy this script onto the root location then we can navigate to the root location by cd and the tilde mark and then we need to execute this script by going into the vision works folder inside the vision works samples folder we will have a make file and we just need to write the make command and we'll start installing the vision works software so once the make file is done the samples are installed we now just see ls and we can see a binary folder we'll just navigate to this binary folder and we'll be seeing what's inside so we need to go into this arch folder then we'll see what's inside it has linux so we'll go inside that folder as well then we need to go to release folder which is inside over here so in the release folder we have the following demos that are available for us to check out so we'll go ahead and try the nvx demo that is the first one and let's see what happens so this is the nvx demo and what it does on a normal video recording it starts to detect objects and uh, things so this is what we can do so this is a pre-recorded video that this has and it's applying ai on that video so the the dots the green and the red dots that you're seeing that are not part of the video that those are being generated by artificial intelligence by the jetson nano and uh, we can do it live as well wherein we can uh, input a live video stream into the jetson nano and do these type of detections for applications like self-driving cars etc now let's go back by pressing escape on this and let's see what other examples do we have so let's try this one which i know for a fact is an interesting one again we'll say dot slash then we'll write nvx demo of transform and let's see the video so in this one we see that again we have a pre-recorded video and what the jetson nano is doing is detecting edges so you see the lines are being detected and uh, if we change this by pressing the m button or we pause this you see that all the edges are being detected so the footpath over here and these lines are being detected by this which is a very useful application if I play this video again so you can see that the this line which is the center line and the side pathway are being clearly detected the front car is also detected this is a typical 
uh, thing that goes in the back end of a self driving car we can understand now that how this can be useful and yes the jetson nano has this much of inbuilt power and the engine to drive things like these let's go back to the terminal let's quickly go on to youtube let's go to our latest video and there we have it the video starts playing instantaneously let's bump up the resolution to 10 1080 60 fps and with our fine internet the video plays in a decent manner i don't see much frames dropping and this is expected out of this jetson nano because this jetson nano is a graphic power oriented development board with 4 gigs of ram on board so playing a 1080p video is not a very big deal for it it can i've heard handle 4k monitors and 4k video as well so that is a big deal for a board for this price also an interesting part that this also supports a touch screen so if i remove the power that is the usb cable of this display and connect it to the jetson nano's usb port like this uh, the display will start getting power from the jetson nano along with that the touch screen will also start working so you can use the jetson nano in a touch interface along with the keyboard as well and I guess that will be pretty useful and I'll be providing the link for this display as well in the description box below. So this was a pretty short and simple uh, video about what this Jetson Nano is, what can it do and uh, how can we get it started and initialized. Uh, but in the future videos, I'll be doing things like image recognition and I'll be adding this camera to this. I've heard that image recognition on this Jetson Nano is a piece of a cake and it does the job very easily. We'll be probably making a self-driving robot with obstacle detection and avoidance using a camera and nothing like an ultrasonic sensor because that is what I want to do with this Jetson Nano. And you can also suggest me uh, ideas for the future videos maybe with this Jetson Nano or without the Jetson Nano in the comments down below. All the relevant links of the products used in the video will be in the description below along with some material for you to use while uh, doing this all by yourself. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't till now. Also hit the bell icon to stay notified. This is Akash signing off.